Hello. Sounds like Lakesh. No. Oh, hello. I am Buddha. Welcome, Buddha. Nice to have you again. Thank you. I left off with the solar plexus chakras. And today I want to speak about the heart, which is the most powerful and important of the chakras in third dimension. You realize that many things come from the heart. Telepathy starts at the heart. When I was just a child and learning about the chakras, when we got to the heart, I had not a problem with the heart because I was born of the heart. I was, and that is how I was chosen to become who I was. That was my destiny of the heart. And behind every chakra is the answers to all your questions because you bring your lives with you behind each of your chakras and the heart is a recorder of all of them. Not every chakra contains information about every life, but the heart does. The heart does. It has a representation in every life and comes with you in every life. And so there, that is why you are able to come back with love. Even as an amoeba started many millions and millions, even billions of years ago, there was a central location in it, and that was the heart. And the memory of that amoeba comes with you a billion years, and it changes you. Every life gives you a slight change, but it's still the original life. Do you understand this? Yes, thank you, yes. All right. Also, the heart pulls all the chakras together. It is like the magnet that pulls down from the sky and up from the earth. It is what is... I, f I just do not know the word. It is so strong, it pulls. It is the magnet, I guess that pulls things down and pulls things up to it to keep you so balanced that you can move forward. Without that balance of the heart in the center, there would be no balance within the, the chakras at all, and you would be gone from one thought to another thought without it connecting as a whole thought because if you realize that every thought is connected to the heart in the sense that it comes from a central location in your being not the mind as much as the heart the mind is there to intellectualize yes but the heart is there to bring it all together in an emotional pattern that equalizes through the body and mind. Is this a w making you aware of something? Yes, yes, thank you, yes. Yes, so the heart connected centrally to the body in its energy patterns is actually the control area for the body, even for the mind, because without the heart then we have just the darkness. Do you understand this? Because the other, the spirit, the third eye, the communication, the solar plexus, the sacral, the root, are all connected so that they can be energized by the heart, or else they take a dark turn. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. And you do not want a dark turn. It is not that you would not be alive without the energy of the heart or the chakras. There would be some soul, but they are there put there for reasons. For reasons of balance, for reasons of understanding, for reasons of connection within the community of the universe and the world you live in. Does this make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Is there any questions 
before I go on. I sense that there is a little confusion out there. I have questions, but I invite audience to speak first if you like. Anybody? Yeah, hello, Buddha. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this is Kirby. I want to ask you a question. Uh, yes. When, when I meditate, I, I, I feel warm and, and hot in my heart. I, I, I don't know why I have this feeling. Can you tell me why? Yes. The Thank heat. You. There's warmth and heat in the truth in the, the center of the heart. When you're feeling this during a meditation, it is yeah. much about healing yourself, healing your emotions, healing that those things within you that need balance or understanding. And so when you do a meditation and you feel heat in your heart, let it burn out those things that are not supposed to be there. Do you understand this? There as human beings we have many emotions and subconsciously we have many emotions as well and if we let the heat of the spirit of the meditation the intention burn out those things that are not supposed to be there it purifies all the processes of connection within the chakras and without within the mind, the soul, the spirit, the body. And that is why the heart is central. It is the love station. It is the center of those things that are spirit. This is how you were born. Spirit within flesh. And the heart is the secret to reaching to that spirit. Yeah, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Got it. I wanted to ask about the blockage of the heart chakra. It looks like our Western education intentionally blocks the heart chakra towards this balanced head over heart. So how about the bal restoring the balance of head and heart and syn synchrony and communication between them? Yes. When you intend your meditation, what happens? Does it go to your head? No. It expands out from the heart. When you meditate, it may not feel that way, but it always starts in the heart. It does not start in the brain, because you are letting the brain go. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You are letting the brain feel free of itself. You are letting the body go. You are letting the emotions go. But the love the meditation is intended always starts in love and therefore the blockage to get away to get through the blockage you have to intend it to break through because yes modern society as i see it do like to petition the heart because they would feel as you were talking earlier vulnerable but vulnerability is the only way to get through everything in the heart you must be vulnerable and accept that it is going to maybe even hurt a little to find those things that are there in the heart and purify it now so many things in the heart there are so many things about the heart chakra that you must know. I know that you know it's the center. I know you know that it now controls things. But did you know that you can change the control in your bodies through the heart chakra to help energize the other chakras? And I do not just mean saying that the heart chakra can be energize and it will energize the others. No. If there is a problem, if there is an imbalance, and you are aware of a body part of that needs healing, there is a chakra for that. And the heart can help you heal your body. 
your heart chakra is an amazing chakra because it can heal it can be tele telepathic it can be actually a controller of the intellect so your heart chakra centralized as it is and with all the information that you have and read about the heart chakras you do not even realize how strong the energy here is because if you let the heart chakra die you have no control of your experiences you have no control of your future let the heart chakra beam for you intend that it be the strongest in you so that your eyes and your third eye and your spirit are opened to a third chakra fourth chakra and fifth chakra event now I think I am speaking over your heads. But, no, no, it sounds great, yes. But are there any more questions before I go any further? Please go. Please, uh, Please ask if you do need to ask. It is not, it is not an, a foolish question if it helps you to learn. Very good. Let, let me ask. Uh, the beat of the heart and the magic of, the magic of blood... The beat of the heart energizes all organs, all other chakras, and kind yes. of gives the the beat to all the body. Yes. Uh, and the chakra is it connected to heart somehow? Is heart chakra center on the heart, or it's like shifted a little bit? Uh, is it also gives the beat to all other chakras through non-physical things, non-physical means? Yes. That is a good question because I can tell you this. If you are having heart problems, physical heart problems, you must go to your heart chakra. There may be a problem there. There may be a problem in your generations of hearts. Find out what has happened in those past chakras of hearts, and you may strengthen this human physical heart you may strengthen your human physical areas by going to the right chakra and then concentrating on the heart does this make sense to you yes yes the solar plexus and the sacral if there's and the root even if if there is problems in the organs if there's problems in sexuality or creativity you can concentrate on those chakras that are connected to those parts of the body and also your reflexology if someone does reflexology concentrate on the heart as they are doing this with you so that it all is brought together in a central way and the power is dispersed to the right area of the body does this make sense to you yes yes the heart is strong the heart is vital you may see it as the beginning of telepathy oh yes and that moves to different places as telepathy becomes stronger and your chakras will be able to connect one to another in others do you understand that the yes. heart will be the first connection of course and it will become part of your sexuality become part of your love become part of who you are as an advanced being because you'll be able to connect in a way that you have never connected in the heart before and know the emotions thoughts and understandings of what the heart really means in a personal relationship at this time you are not connected by the heart in many ways but you are in some ways as you begin your telepathic rise your hearts will start to connect that web around the world of light and understanding will grow stronger 
when the heart is the strongest within you, the heart chakra is the strongest within you. And this will mean less illness. When you discover that the heart can control many of the facets of your health, you will understand that it is also helping others with their... When you connect heart to heart, you help each other's hearts as well as their physiology. Does this make sense to you? Yes, yes, thank you. So this is part of your enlightenment, part of your move forward. This has not been revealed to you yet, and it is an advanced thought. But take heed, you are the first to hear it, that these things can be where healing begins in your lives and in the lives of others. Do not doubt it. Do not doubt it. Do not doubt it. Because it is essential that the energy of the heart be released. As you have been taught, the spirit rises up and it becomes at the end of the flesh and you have peace. And when it moves out, that is enlightenment. But it will be more than that in the future. As your telepathy grows, as your telepathy expands, it will also be enlightenment and healing for others. You will carry the healing of yourself and heal others with that. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Now, there are times when we must let go of our spirit because it must go to the next dimension. This world is done. This heart is finished with its purpose in this world. So you must know when this happens that the, the chakras will unwind. They may unwind from the top or they may unwind from the bottom, but you can help yourself pass to the next world more gently by unwinding them yourself when the time comes. You will know when that time is, and it will be a time of peace and great thought and great recollection of this past world. All the thoughts of rememberings that will come to you will bring through your chakras and be there for the next life. I'm only telling you this because it happens without your attention anyway. But to be aware of it is something great. Is uh, unwinding create does unwinding create strings? Are chakras made of strings rec which record the life experience? They are made of waves of energy, and energy un you can unwind it by going counterclockwise in your world. But do not do that now. Wind it up clockwise and make it more powerful, as powerful as you need it to be, to be totally balanced and a good frame of mind. Now, surely as human beings, there will be times when you're discouraged or feel other things other than joy and positivity and enlightenment. But to acknowledge that that is a learning time and acknowledge it as a positive thing brings you to a new phase of understanding. You must understand that everything negative that happens to you has a positive outcome if you would let it. So let it be positive. So whenever you have that negativity within you stirring up, you thank spirit or whoever that you feel deserves the thanks. That is important. To be true to yourself in the thanking of your higher guides, your spirit guides, Mother Earth, Gaia, Universe, God, the golden strings. It's, it's awareness that these are the lessons that this life 
has brought to you and thank God for them. And that will energize the heart chakra automatically. And you can hold your heart chakra and thank, give thanks for those things that are negative, which you see as negative and turn them positive because they are a learning experience even if you were to stub your toe, you can learn from it. Do you understand? Yes. This is a great w knowledge. Please be aware of it. The next time I come, I will speak to you about the communication and the throat chakra. But the heart chakra, I could speak many, many hours about because there's many many things that are undiscovered within yourselves that are all connected to the center the heart many of you know many of you know already that this information will help you it will help you it will help you do not let it pass lightly, for I will not speak it again. Although this is being recorded, I believe. Yes. You may hear it again, but not from me directly. Uh, I have another question. Is it appropriate time to ask? Ask. Um, I'm anal analyzing my anger, and it, con it is connected to pain in the heart. Yes. I feel vulnerable. And it causes the pain in the heart. And I feel vulnerable because I'm striving to achieve something. And then I get pain and that stops me. And I'm trying to protect myself by disconnecting from things. What would be your advice? Let go of the pride. Accept everything as it is. There are many things in you that, and in everybody, that we want to keep for ourselves, that we want to say that this is who I am, that this is what I'm here for, that this is the things that I do not want to give up because if I give this up, it will show weakness. It will show that I am vulnerable. It will show that. And therefore, you keep the pain there because there is something that you do not want to give up. There are parts of it that you hold on to because it will be embarrassing or a, a, a negative emotion for you to experience. However, you will find when you release those negative and proud emotions, they will lighten you. You will be filled with something that makes you want to express to others to do the same because you will have a freedom beyond that which you have now you will have a freedom to understand others the way you do not now because you are holding on you are keeping a petition you are hiding these feelings and thoughts and emotions the heart does not want to hide the heart wants to express it is hard for some people to express, and that will come with the throat chakra as well. But first, the heart has to be open. The heart has to be cleared and has to be understood as pure. Now, you may say, how can the heart be pure in this world? But it can be. The heart can be purified. Surely you will have to do that more than once in your life. Because things attach to you. Things happen. You gather things into your heart, into your different uh, chakras, into your body, into your mind. Surely you understand that every now and then you have to change the filter. Because it collects things that don't need, don't need to be there. And th those emotions, pride and, and jealousy and things of that nature, need to go. They have no room 
in the growth. They, you may still grow and have them, but you are not growing as fast as you could. They hold you back. And those lies that you told many, many years ago, many years ago, and you continue to hold on to them because they've never been righted. You must say them out loud. You must burn them in your heart with that truth. Burn them in your heart with that truth. Because the lies that, hold, that you have told that have consequences have consequences for you. And I do not want to leave on a sad note. Because those things that you have burned out already, which I have seen much purification among you, much love being gener generated between you, many tears shed because of love and because of guidance by each other and the heart reaching out and touching each other. You felt it already, but it can be even stronger when you release these darknesses, these things that don't belong. And many humans cannot do it. It is too strong. It is too embarrassing. It is too hard, but let me tell you, call on spirit to help, call anyone by name that you know can help to burn this away. For with that in there, it causes you disease, it causes you anger, it causes you to be imbalanced in some ways, not necessarily in the heart, but it causes imbalances in the body, in the actual physicality, the chemical resonances, how it all works together to be what it is. It hurts it in some way unconditionally hurts it in some way. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Therefore, love. Burn. Burn in your heart. Feel that burn. Feel your excitement. Your highest excitement as it's labeled comes from the heart as well. Is there any questions now? Yes. Buddha, it's a great honor to have an Ascended Master with us. And I would just like to ask a question. As humans, we look at our sometimes linear aspects of our chakras. Do we have to connect? Can we connect any chakra to any chakra, or does it have to be in a linear fashion? No, the chakras are not linear in any way, really. They're orbs. They're circular. They're, they're not flat and linear. You can connect your chakras in any way you like in, in many senses. And you can connect them to others. But you are not at that point yet. You are not advanced enough to know how to do that. But it is the heart chakra that I want you to connect first. But yes, you have a linear thought pattern about many things. And many things are not linear. Time is not linear. I, I do not know how to explain it any better than that. Do you understand? Yes, it, I understand. Would colors help with our linking yes. of the, the, the chakras? This is what comes to me. Yes, the colors are... Each chakra has its own color for a reason. And that, is, that reason is to show you how well it is, how healthy it is. The colors come in brightnesses to show you how healthy that chakra is. 
So if you have pink instead of red in your root chakra, you need to bring more color into it. How do you do that? You can look at colors. You can bring colors into you. It's, it's amazing how easy it is to energize a chakra by looking at colors and thinking positive thoughts. Do you understand that? Perfectly. Namaste, yes. Buddha. Thank you. You are welcome. I wish I could have explained it a little better. There's more depth to it than that. But the colors come to you in depths of color. And that's what I was trying to explain. The deeper the red, the greater the strength. The deeper uh -huh. the blue, the greater the strength. And if you're green, this would be mild. <laughs> Sabrina has a question. Sabrina. Sabrina. Her microphone is off. Sabrina, we cannot hear you yet. Anybody else? Yes, I have a question. Yes, Sarah. How can we connect to our hearts if it's a little challenging to meditate how is it how can we do, is there another way of doing it yes there's many ways to get through the heart chakra when you cannot meditate there are you give thanks you give thanks for all those things that have been good to you for all those things that have been harsh for you give thanks for the fact that you cannot meditate because there is a lesson there. There will come a time, after a time, when you will find yourself moving into your heart in a different way. And perhaps you're trying to intellectualize your heart. Let your heart be as it is. Grasp it, hold it, and love it, and feel energy coming from it. Now, if you don't feel any energy coming from it, that's fine, because there still is energy coming from it. Do you understand? The way to get to the heart is through the spirit. And the spirit, the way to get to the spirit is through thankfulness, and understanding that joy comes with learning the lessons. Joy comes with giving thanks for all things. Thank you. You're welcome. And if, if this does not work at first, do not give up. Is it necessary to be able to, me to meditate? It is not necessary to be able to meditate. It is helpful to be able to meditate. Some people cannot meditate. They do not understand the concept of it. They do not understand what it does. And therefore, they can bring in that information in other ways. Through the heart. The heart understands meditation. The heart understands the reason for meditation. And the heart understands why you do not understand why it's there. So therefore, just go about your business thanking and loving. And then when it hits you, when that mind thought hits you that it is time to meditate because meditation will come to your mind, this will be your time. Because you will then understand the meaning of it and how to move your heart with meditation, how to expand your heart, I should say, with meditation. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Sabrina typed her question. Uh, so she says, okay, what is the best way to help someone whose heart is in pain, emotional pain? It would be to share your heart. Because their heart is in, in pain, 
your heart must help them. And that's where you may connect. You may feel their pain. Do you feel their pain? Can you answer that? Yes. Yes. You are helping them get through their pain by feeling their pain with them. Do you understand this? You are pulling that pain out of their heart and sharing it with yourself and you, having a healthier heart, can get rid of that pain. And therefore, your connection with their heart and your heart will help them. Now, I understand that it takes time to pull all that pain out because they believe the mind controls that pain. They're not thinking that the heart controls that pain. So therefore, you must control their pain with your heart. Does that make sense to you? Um, yes, she says yes. Uh, so what is the way to get the pain out of your heart, whatever the, the cause of the pain is? When you have the pain in your heart from someone else, yes. then that is when you meditate and intend the pain to go away. And intend for this meditation, those of you who meditate, intend for the pain to go and intend for their understanding of the pain to go away as well. They're not to not the understanding of it, but for, for them to understand how to let go of the pain. Because we give these messages to each other through prayer and through telepathy, and we do not even know. We are so attached to the feeling of individuality. We are so attached to the very thought of being just who we are that we do not realize that our selves can help others just with intent to help others. Does this make sense to you? Yes. This yes. is part of your telepathy, part of your understanding of what a higher being can be because you will all come to be higher beings at some time. But try it in your earthly body. It may not be successful. You may not be able to do it yet. But it will happen with the human race that you will be able to do the things that you can only dream possible. If you dream it to be possible, it is possible. Because you cannot dream something that can't be. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, should I ask another question? Is there anybody uh, who wants to ask a question? Uh, I do. Yes. Hello, Master Buddha. This is Mary. Hello, Mary. Uh, do you meditate? And if you do, do you meditate by yourself? Or do you meditate with uh, groups of people? Groups of people? And yes. uh, what is your intention? What do you set your intention when you do meditate? Uh, my most high intention is the healing of Mother Earth and the healing of those that live upon her. Because there is much, much darkness there still. Even with the rising of many spirits and many vibrations, there's still much darkness. And I pray for the rising and the, the darkness to be overcome. But yes, I do meditate alone, and I do meditate in groups. Because when you meditate alone, you are bringing the energy within to yourself, and uh, sending the energy out to those who need it. And when you're with a group, you connect with them in your meditation and become a community of meditation. And that is very strong, very strong indeed, especially with spiritual beings. Becoming a, a, a great light for those of you. Did you get that? Yeah. Mary. Yeah, it's amazing that spirits also meditate. I didn't know about that. Yes. Yes. Yes, I got I got it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Master Buddha. Much love to you. 
Much love to you as well. I must go now unless there's more questions. Uh, yeah, there is a, a belief that heart has its own mind and it is conscious by itself. So I just wonder what is this mind? How is it connected to our subconscious? How is it connected to our higher self? That's sort of what is the mind of the heart? The mind of the heart is to give the individual those things that it wants, that it is most helpful to accept. The mind of the heart knows the body, knows the mind, and knows the spirit, and therefore works to filter, connect, and purify the body, mind, and, and spirit. Yes. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes. Uh, basically, yes. That's its function, yes, and it does what it is in a smart way. Yes. And it is to give you the power to understand the mind, body, and spirit. Not only does it help to control it and make it feel better or worse, as some people intend themselves to be, but it also creates its own reality with the mind, body, and spirit. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. It's so much joy and so much learning to be with you and learn from you. Thank you. I could speak about the heart for many, many uh, time zones or whatever, but I don't think that was correct. But it's good to speak to you. I hope that you understood. Yes, yes, it was very enlightening and very clear. Thank you very much. Much appreciation. Namaste and much love. And I feel your hearts. I do feel that your hearts are good and that your hearts are wanting to express what I was speaking of. But make sure you purify them so that you can connect even better to those things that are you and are to come to you. The law of attraction, as you call it, comes with a pure heart. Do you understand that? It does come even when the heart is not pure, but it is limited by those blemishes in the heart, those things in the heart that are held there that are not supposed to be. And if you get rid of them, the law of attraction will be everything that you want it to be. It is very hard to keep the heart pure continuously. And it cannot be done on earth. It cannot be done. But you can revisit it every week, every day, every time that you want to. You can purify as often as you want. And if you can't purify yet, you will be able to. I must go now. Thank you. Namaste. 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 And Namaste. much love. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste, Mata Buddha. Namaste. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.